Hey everybody, it's Bob Boob. Hey, okay, actually this is Bob Boob. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a fun video tour to do. I'm here off a of route to Route 44 South and outside of Jersey Shore. Um, nope, super cool Jeep is not included with the sale, but it's kind of an unusual setup. There's it's about 14 acres with this property. And of course, right here, I'm facing um, north. So that would be where Route 44 South is, but I'm facing north towards Route 44 South. You follow me on that? So going that way, ding, 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 we'd be going towards Jersey Shore. Going that way, ding, 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 ding. Well, first would be the super cool, awesome dollar store that they have over here in the valley. But then that would be taking you towards like Collinsville, Neom Sport, or if you're going 654 back way into Williams Sport through South Side. But the um, property is very long. Um, um, of course, boy, it's probably five, six times as well deep as it is wide but it's a nice sized property online we'll have some information with the uh, tax map and the deed and that sort of stuff but when the owner bought this he well, actually what he did is all these trees that you see cleared out underneath here i kind of walk and talk here a little bit um he cleared all this out kind of has like a park like setting here now it's really neat he mows this um of course there's the shed uh these little doodads are all part of the septic system coming from the house over there there's two things your tanks and this must be the field area and i forget what they call this thing sticking out there but it's all part of your where your poopy dupe goes and then uh of course you can just see here it's just a beautiful beautiful setting got a little fire pit here and it's a pre-manufactured house there's a data plate inside that we found it was built in 1986 um i didn't peek underneath but we're assuming that's on some sort of pillars or blocks uh, underneath there. So depending on what kind of financing you're doing, that may or may not um, be a challenge for you. You see here, it's just a beautiful, be beautiful setting here, guys. Now, you're going to see here, you're gonna see where these trees are, and you can kind of see where there's coming these logs here. Well, this, this drops down real fast. It's kind of a ravine area. And I suppose on the tax maps it shows like a little stream, but really that stays pretty dry except um, during the rainy season. But the water will go here, flows that way, and it ends up going into Annis Creek then. But this property course continues this way. So um, it is probably three times deep that way heading south than it is looking this way towards north. So you probably have, I'm going to guess, we're probably looking around three, three and a half acres of the 14, and the rest is going to be on that other side. We don't really have a path or road. I suppose one could look at creating something there, um, but this current owner just didn't worry about that. And of course, you can see in the back, there's a deck. So yeah, I'll tell you what, guys, let me, let me push pause and let's go inside the house. Be right back. Hold on. Okay. I didn't quite get back inside there yet. What I wanted to show you what I think for boundary lines, you can kind of see where this tree line is here and where it's kind of grown up there. There's a fence post here and back in here, I don't know if you can see it right about where my finger, ding, 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 ding. There's a metal stake. I am approximating on that that is probably your east boundary line going that direction. So now I'm facing south, guys. Obviously, you'd want to have a surveyor mark pins if you want to know exactly. Here you have your electric service coming in. Um, that's a 200 amp service. You have oil heat here. Since the tank's outside, you always want to add that mixture to it so it doesn't gel up on you when you get really cold months. But you see it's a one story. Continue on the trek here. Big open concept in this ranch one story house. So you have the living room area. Now, this would traditionally, I think, be the dining room area, but, of course, they don't have that set up with table and chairs. And look here. So this is where now we're facing the back. See where that deck is that we were just showing you there earlier? Again, it's just really quiet out here. If you don't like quiet, you probably don't want to buy this house. But it is pretty quiet here then. Okay, so continue on. So now we're back in the house and we can be louder. Uh, so here you have the dining area. Of course, lots of kitchen cabinets here. The appliances are staying. What you see will stay and the personal stuff that the owner will get out of here. Now back in 86, this was really the upper end model because 
has this bonus area here. This would kind of be like a family room or den area. Of course, it has the fireplace. I'm not so sure if that's set up for gas or for wood. I'll have to double check with the owner with that. I did see a like a piece of flagstone laying out there, which that may be where they would set the propane tank for that. So again, I'll have to get back to you on that, but it is a fireplace. And then here you have the master bedroom or what they call the primary main bedrooms now, the bigger of the bedrooms here on this end. So this is the west side of the property. It has the big closet, goes the whole way across the wall. Then in here you have your own, oh, there's a goofy guy looking at us. Your own primary bathroom in here then for the, for that. Yeah, so that's that. And as we continue our adventure here, we having fun guys. This is real close to, like I said, Route 44, but if you're going over the mountain to Imsport, Williamsport, Lewisburg, or if you're cutting the other way towards Jersey Shore, Lock Haven, very easy commute. Um, you are near, not next to state game lands. Uh, there's some out here in the valley. Um, so yeah, it's just a neat spot then. There's the first floor laundry. There's your oil furnace. Over there's your panel box hiding behind that. Then you have two guest room, kid rooms, however you would use them. The one here, and this has, oh gosh, guys, maybe eight, nine by ten feet. There's a closet there. And this would be the common bath right here then. So this has the shower thrown in the vanity there. I think this is just like a hall, like a linen closet. Oh, somebody was shopping at Target. Okay, now... This bedroom, I wanted to show you a couple things. Of course, we have the bedroom itself, which is probably, again, 1011 by 1011. But there's a couple things in here I wanted to show you. So this is a survey map. So this looks like this was done back in 1990 by Bill Hilling. Bill Hilling has done surveys for a long time. Matter of fact, I think he worked with Adam and Eve when they were building their house. But um, uh, just kidding. But we love Bill. So let's see, what can I show you here? So here's up top, facing north. This is Route 44 right here. Matter of fact, that says right there, guys, 330 feet across. And then down here on the south side, also 330 feet. There's an old fence row right there. Now on this side right here, which would be actually you're next to the quarry right here. I think that says, I think, man, gosh, there was a day I could just read that. But I think that's 1961. Can you guys see that a little better than me, maybe? And then on the east side here, 1,800 and I think 83 feet. But again, that driveway coming in and the house sits kind of about almost where that 14, four or five acres is right in here. Of course, um, they don't have that marked on here, but you're then one, two, three. But this is the whole 14 acres. And again, there's your north right there. So I hope that helpful. Um, then inside here in the closet, we found the data plate. This was built in 1986. It was a Skyline model out of effort of PA. So there you go then. We met all the underwriting lab requirements. HUD. Actually, behind in here, this is kind of where they hide your hot water heater. So you have an electric hot water heater behind that panel. And then we come back and here we're in the bedroom. This is a little topographical map. He has this marked on here where we're at. Yeah, I think maybe about right in here. Sorry, guys, that is just such small print. Bobby Booby even has his contacts in. It's hard to read. But there you guys go. I'm, I think I've shown you everything that I can show you. If you have any questions, my name is Bob Boob. I work with Century 21 First Choice Realty. My office number is 398-0690. My cell phone is 570-220-0741. Call or text anytime, but it was nice to spend some time with you guys. You guys have a great day then. Thanks again for your time. Bye-bye.